Hi, I'm Chef Martin Brunner, Bacon and Pastry Coordinator at Sandy's Community College. Our program started back in about 2000. We have since graduated 300 students. We have two programs. We have Bacon and Pastry, and we also have Culinary Arts. Some of our graduates go on to be uh, chefs at local restaurants here in town. Hunters is known for tourism and resorts, and many of our, our students work at those resorts, but some have moved on. We have one graduate who's now in Australia, and we also have one who went to downtown Manhattan, opened his own restaurant, and also has received a James Beard Award. Hi, I'm Mary Catherine Kennefick. I've currently been in the Sand Hills Bacon and Pastry Arts program for two years. Um, my current goal is to eventually move back home and work for my uncle in his diner. And I currently work at Quail Haven Retirement Home. Hello, my name is Beverly Johnson. I'm a second year student at Sand Hills Community College in the Bacon and Pastry Arts program. Um, I'm currently working two jobs, one at Fast Food and another one at Lowe's Foods Bakery here in Pinehurst. Um, my plans after graduation is to maybe work a couple different places to get more experience in my field and eventually open up my own bakery sometime in the future. My name is Renee Bollier. Um, I'm currently at Sand Hills double majoring in culinary and baking and pastry. I've been there for about two years now. I've done it through high school so I still have about two years left and once I graduate I'd like to either open my own bakery or open my own catering business. My name is Micah Niebauer and I'm one of the uh, three owners of Southern Pines Brewing Company. Uh, we are a local craft brewery. We just started producing beer back in June, distributing in July. Today we came to the uh, Culinary Showcase with three different beers, our three primary flagships. I'm Adam from Valentis. We're here at the Showcase. We brought a fresh cream of asparagus soup, uh, some crab and shrimp stuffed shells with a chipotle alfredo, and we brought six different types of cheesecake, toasted walnut, blueberry, cranberry, pumpkin, and peanut butter. Come check us out. We serve um, salads, homemade soups. We soak the um, bean soups. We soak the beans all day. That night we put them in a crock pot with a ham bone. We cook them for 15 hours. So we got great homemade soups, hot sandwiches, cold sandwiches, and salads made to order. I'm Chef Adam. I'm part of Pine Ridge Resort. Uh, today at the showcase, we're doing a seared scallop with a coconut curry grits a purple cabbage soubis, heirloom tomato relish, and a katafi uh, crisp. And we're also going to uh, featuring a mesquite duck, smoked duck, with a uh, poblano, roasted poblano cornbread, um, cherry gastrique, and a citrus uh, Brussels sprout salad. I'm Nathan Summers. I'm the Director of Independent Living at St. Joseph of the Pines. That's Bell Mead and Pine Knoll. Tonight we have our great chefs here. We're preparing lamb chops and tempura shrimp. I'm Janet, along with Alan. We own Postal and Creamery Rocky Mountain Chocolate, located in Aberdeen, near PetSmart. We have a variety of ice cream tonight. We're making ice cream sundaes. We also have our dipped pretzels, either milk chocolate or white confection. And we also have a sample of our photo cake that's available. Hi, this is the House of Fish. We prepared shrimp and grits for tonight. Very spicy but savory dish. Um, it's filled with lots of vegetables and shrimp and grits and all you do is sausage. Hi, I'm Savannah Osteen with Texas Roadhouse in Aberdeen. And tonight for the Culinary Showcase, we have prepared barbecue chicken, pulled pork, and buttered corn. Y'all come out and see us. I'm Peter Hamm, Executive Chef and Director of Food and Beverage at Pine Needles and Mid Pines Golf Resorts in Southern Pines. Uh, today we brought both properties together. We did some sourdough breads made in house, pimento cheese, a romesco sauce with smoked peppers. Randy's been working on that at the end of the table. I've been doing a main lobster mac and cheese with orzo and a four cheese sauce with gouda, orzin, um, aged cheddar, and some mascarpone, some uh, different brews in there, some beers, um, finishing with caramelized onion and smoked bacon and just finishing it with some orzo, so. Hi, I'm Tammy, and I'm the owner of Tuguan Tavern, and I'd like
like to invite you to come down and see us. We are located in the theater building in the village. Uh, today we are doing a uh, homemade pulled pork nacho. I'm Ronnie Williams from Black Rock Winery. We're here to showcase the pour and some of our wines. I'd like for you to come by and join us at our taste room on 1551 in Carson. Hi, I'm Karen Littlefield. This is my husband, John. I'm the chef at uh, Philly and Colts Restaurant at Longleaf Country Club off of Midland Road. We're open seven days a week. We do lunch every day. We do dinner Tuesday through Saturday, and we have a delightful brunch. We brought a longleaf chicken. That's a signature dish on our menu. We also brought our uh, beef tenderloins and lots of great desserts, including my famous coconut cake. My name is Brian Cooey. I'm the chairman of the Pinehurst Food and Wine Festival and the Fine Dining Operations Manager at the resort. Uh, we are very happy to be partnered with Moore County, Moore County Chamber of Commerce and St. Hills Community College for this event. Um, it's, a, it's a great event to have and to be able to benefit the uh, culinary department at St. Hills. Uh, and I've, we've been, I've been doing this event for two years and it's just a, it's a fun time for all and uh, I enjoy every second of it. 